Hey Joseph 59 here, Tim and show you guys how to make this puzzle picture frame. And you can download a free set of plans. This also would be great for a wedding gift or you can change the lettering to suit your family and display your photos in. To make the puzzle picture frame, I went ahead and cut out my half inch uh, piece of plywood that is 24 inches long by 15 inches. And I just went ahead and took my pencil and traced around uh, the whole area and then taped it down and then any areas uh, that we're going to cut out for the pictures to go into I just took my pencil and just made little corners on each side because it's uh, plywood it pressed fairly easily so I was able to see then I just went ahead and then took a ruler to join up all the corners and then I just measured with measuring tape just to make sure um, all the measurements were all perfectly uh, in line. I went ahead and I sanded um, each picture frame square. I used 80 grit sandpaper and I used some wood filler uh, in any of the areas that uh, were nicked by the tool. And then I just used my square to make sure everything was all nice and square. You wanna go ahead and uh, flip it over to the back side. And to make the grooves on the back, I used a groove bit and I had a smaller collet on it and I just went ahead and changed it to a bigger one and just did a test piece to make sure that everything uh, would work out right. And the depth I set it to a quarter inch and the width that uh, ends up grooving into the back is 3 16 And as you can see, this is the one that I did uh, recently and I still have to go ahead and do this one. Uh, but because of the router, it is round, as you can actually see here a little bit on the test piece. Uh, you want to go ahead and take your chisel and just corner that off so it's all nice and square and then test your glass to make sure it fits in before you go ahead and router out the other one. Now you want to go ahead and take some sandpaper and sand everything down. I went ahead and I sanded all the edges first with uh, 80 grit of sandpaper and then I went ahead and took 400 grit sandpaper and then just knocked down the corners nice and smooth. Then I went ahead and used my orbital sander with 320 grit and sanded everything nice and smooth front and back. I went ahead and stained and painted the picture frame and the process that I did was is I took some old paints that I had lying around and I have one here in a brown finish and I just diluted it with some water to make it uh, really thin. Then I used an old brush to ply it on and then used a rag to wipe it off. Let that sit overnight. Then I went ahead and mixed um, some metallic paint that I had left over from another project. And sorry, this is showing the front side, just the English side got all full of paint somehow. And these are oop paints at the store that I guess that were marked down. So I can't really tell you what color they were. Um, but the metallic was an off gray, kind of light gray color. And then this was just a regular off white that had like a little bit of a cream uh, color in it. And I just mixed the two together just to get a color that I was happy with. And so then I ended up um, 
painting that on, letting it dry overnight. And once everything was all dry inside and all the edges, I took some sandpaper around the edges and sanded the corners. And then for the whole surface, I just used my orbital sander at 320 grit sandpaper and then just lightly uh, sanded it to distress it so that some areas got a little bit darker here and then some areas are more white. So I went ahead and I cut the letters out on the Cricut machine that I have and just used black vinyl and placed it on where I wanted everything to be. And then I just did one clear coat on top just for protection of the vinyl and for the paint as well. For the backing, I just used a 4x6 uh, picture frame that I just got at the dollar store and just used the glass and the back piece to it and just cut the back piece to size that would fit my measurements and then just added a little bit of extra foam board uh, that I got at Walmart uh, just to make sure everything is all nice and flush. And these window clips I just got at the hardware store and I just made sure I left them loose enough that way then when you want to remove a picture it's a little bit easier. You don't have to use a screwdriver to loosen the screw every time. And then I just added a picture hanging hook. Thanks for stopping by my channel and go to the video description link below for free plants. Don't forget to comment on this video. If you would like to see more of these videos please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.